எஸ் பி பி கிருஷ்ணா அண்ட் ஐ ஆம் ஏ யூ பார்க் மோஸ்ட் வேலபிள் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் இந்த நெக் ஃபியூ மினிட்ஸ் ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ ஹவு டு பில்ட் அ குவிக் டாஸ்க் ஆட்டோமேஷன் ஃபார் எனி ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் ஒர்க்கிங் வித் மல்டிபிள் கம்யூனிகேஷன் ஆப்ஸ் அட் தேட் ஒர்க் பிளேஸ் வித் ஸ்டுடியோ வெப் வி கேன் டைரக்ட்லி அண்ட் செக்யூர்லி கனெக்ட் டு மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஆப்ஸ் பை சிம்பிளி ஆடிங் ஏ நியூ கனெக்ஷன் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் பிகின் வித் த டெமோ ஓப்பன் யூ பார்த் ஸ்டுடியோ வெப் இன் ஆட் செட்டர் go to automation tab you can start a new project by clicking on new project but before creating a new one i would suggest you to check existing templates and search for your needs for example if your use case involves outlook search for outlook hit enter and then you can already see pre existing workflows which you can directly use we will start from scratch so let's create a new project so as it mentioned here we have to select a trigger for our automation so in our case when there is a new calendar invite the process has to trigger so search for calendar and when a new event created in gmail process has to trigger right so select google workspace calendar event created wait for installation by default selected my gmail id so if you have to add a new connection click here and then add a new connection and then click on sign in with google select your account the content thing you it thing you and that's it we added the connection to gmail now if you click on show additional properties you will see the output will be stored in google event and then job data next when we receive a calendar invite in gmail the user has to be notified in slack right so click on add activity search for slack and you will see all slack related activities scroll down and you will see a uh, activity called send message to user select that next we have to connect to our slack click here and then add new connections click on connect by default i have already logged in to slack so it taken my by default account you just have to click on i so i have already connected so i'll select my default email itself so user will be my email itself and then message you can customize so send as uh, i want to send it as bot so i'm selecting bot then now we can send a customized message so inside this message we have to send details related to a calendar invite right so from here from, from this activity all the information related to that event will be stored in a variable called google event so from this variable we can access all information related to that event so you can just click here and then it will show all available variables so under google event i can just select summary and this will have the subject of the event likewise you can click again and then you can click select to start date time i can select organizer email all these will have the information related to that event so i click here and then click on open expression editor so these are the information so just to have it in a proper format so i need to send the user in this format so for to achieve this format i have changed this code a little bit so i just copy that to here so i want to quickly explain this so this this will be constant string so i'm enclosed in double quotes so i need a new line here so i've added system.environment.new line and then subject also a, a plain string so that will be enclosed in double quotes so as you have seen before to access the subject we use google event dot summary so i've added that google event dot summary here and then i need a new line here so that's that's why i've added a new line and for organizer google event dot organizer email will give me the email id for the organizer and then a new line so 
I've just customized that message in a proper format. Click on save. So to track the process, I'll add a log message as well. I'll just copy this entire thing into log message. Click on save. Before testing, I'll rename the process. If I user why not received a concept. So I have an invite in the calendar, so I'll just click on test. Can see the locks here. This activity is running now. Then if you see for an event I received in this format. You have received an invitation in Gmail with subject or measure and then when it is going to happen. So let's check my Slack now. So from your path for staging, I received this message in Slack. Now let's close the output pane and our process is running fine. Now we have to publish this process to orchestrator. Right? So click on publish. So this will be my automation name and type change log. I click on publish. And our process got published to orchestrator. Go to orchestrator. So you can see the process that is already added from the studio web. So now let's start testing with the real scenario. So I'll be sending an event to that account and then we'll see how Yopa Studio automatically triggers. Go into calendar, create an event, test studio web. I'm keeping the time as it is. Now I'm adding the guest. Looking on save, sending an event. Let's go back to orchestrator. I've also opened my Slack. These are my old messages. To studio. So now if you see, uh, the trigger got started. Let's check the logs. So I've received a message in Slack about my new event. Let's open Slack. Then here you can see, I've received an invest with subject this from organizer and this will happen on this particular time likewise we can add any application here like for example in place of gmail we can also add outlook and we can also add zoom and we can collect the event information customize the message and send that message to the user in slack or teams that's all for today as we conclude i would like to encourage you to try out studio web until next time happy automation